What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 528. In this episode, I'll discuss the dose of inhaled tranexamic acid used for non-massive hemoptysis. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 528. Tranexamic acid is an antifibrinolytic medication. It forms a reversible complex that displaces plasminogen from fibrin, resulting in inhibition of fibrinolysis. Tranexamic acid is commonly used systemically to reduce bleeding and trauma, or topically or systemically to reduce bleeding in orthopedic surgical procedures. There is one prospective study in adult patients of the effectiveness of inhaled tranexamic acid for the treatment of non-massive hemoptysis. The study was a double-blind, randomized controlled trial of treatment with nebulized tranexamic acid versus normal saline placebo in patients admitted with hemoptysis. Patients in the active group got undiluted inhalations of the IV form of tranexamic acid at 500 mg per 5 ml, 3 to 4 times per day. Mean hospital length of stay was 2 days shorter in the tranexamic acid group. Fewer patients in the tranexamic acid group required invasive procedures such as interventional bronchoscopy or angiographic embolization to control bleeding, and there were no side effects noted in either group throughout the follow-up period. A reduced hemoptysis recurrence rate was even noted at one-year follow-up in the tranexamic acid group. If using this off-label strategy, give preference to the preservative-free version of IV tranexamic acid due to the potential adverse effects of nebulized preservatives. To access my free download area with 20 different resources to help you in your practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the elective rotation.